remember my son, Prince Charming. Charming! Oh, oh this. Oh, now I'm getting what's happening. Oh. Come here, little kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh uh, he's gonna be dangerous as heck. <laughs> Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Shrek 2. So, I know less about this movie than I even knew about the first one. Um, the only thing I know is, I'm assuming, because we did, I thought that there was this cat character in the first Shrek, and we didn't see that character. So, I do know there is that character. I'm assuming we're going to see that character here. Who knows? It could be like a How to Train Your Dragon situation where I knew... Um, there was the the white dragon. I knew she was in the film, but I thought she was in the second one. She was actually in the third one. So maybe this cat character is not until the third Shrek movie. But I'm going to guess that this cat is in this one. Um, besides that, I really don't know much about the movie. Let's see, real quick. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of predictions. I really don't know where this movie is going to go. But I do think since Lord Farquaad was such a great antagonist in the last movie, and I really liked how he was both you know, ridiculously over the top evil, but also just so, so pathetic. I just feel like that hit a great tone for this type of a movie and a very entertaining character. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be a new antagonist that causes problems for, you know, Fiona, Donkey, and our good old protagonist Shrek. So I'm hoping that that is someone fun and crazy, just like Lord Farquaad. Beyond that, really have no idea what we have in store for us. But as always, if you want to see this movie, the full unedited reaction, and every unedited reaction that I do, you can sign up on Patreon and watch that for just a dollar. If you can't afford it, just sign up there. Let me know that you're struggling, and I will give you access for free. If you want to see next week's animated reaction, that's going to be Shrek the Third. You can sign up and uh, watch that with early access. Thank you so much to everyone who supports there. Let's get into this movie. Let's get into Shrek 2. there's going to be a big time jump between movies maybe we'll see shrek and fiona with kids i don't know i really i really don't know i feel like i haven't seen any uh toys or pictures of little shrek so maybe they don't have kids wouldn't it be hilarious if both shrek and fiona ended up at the end of this trilogy like turning back into humans just kind of undermining the whole message of being yourself in the first one <laughs> That'd be so stupid. <laughs> but this movie is so meta. Who knows what it's going to do? I can see it making fun of its own message. Desperate, they sought the help of a fairy godmother who had the. It's not a real fairy tale without a fairy godmother. To reach the dragon's. Is this an alternate version of the history that happened? Like, is this what was written down in the history books? They didn't record that it was the ogre Shrek? And most. <laughs> what a great hair toss. What? Princess Fiona? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. This is really happening? Honeymoon? With who? Oh, we'll talk about a new antagonist. Okay, I thought I thought that was some version of like an alternate history. Like they didn't record that Shrek rescued her. See, when I watched the first one, I thought that Lord Farquaad and Prince Charming were like the same person. Okay, so we're gonna have Prince Charming, and he's the actual Prince Charming. Not, I, I'm so confused. If you watch the intro to my first Shrek, you kind of see where I'm picking up just bits of pop culture knowledge from all over. <laughs> hey <laughs> i love that they both like at the same time are like well we might as well enjoy it <laughs> She's the sharks eat her that's hilarious oh what a great lord of the rings reference that's hilarious 
Oh, yeah, that's another thing I didn't know. Like, does Fiona, did she have training? Is that where she gets all her crazy major? Oh, my gosh, the Spider-Man kiss. This movie is just taking the references to the next level in the sequel here. You and me and... Uh, it's gotta be Donkey. Oh, look at the mess. Be as bad as one. He's so depressed. She better be going. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you want to tell me all about your trip? Well, how about a game of Park Easy? They're newlyweds. You gotta give them some privacy. Or to be together. Without you. <laughs> You're bothering me. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Cool. I guess, uh... Don't take it personal, Donkey, but come on. Everyone needs some privacy. <laughs> Donkey! Donkey, what are you doing? Are you serious? You came back? <laughs> we'll talk about a uh, dramatic entrance. Okay, show off. Reggie. <laughs> A.K.A. Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad? Prince Charming. Oh. Don't you think they might be a bit shocked to see you like this? I wonder if they're going to be upset that the curse was never lifted, like it went the other way. At least give them a chance. Oh, to do what? Sharpen their pitchforks? No. Come on, Shrek. You haven't even met them. Maybe they're really cool. Although they did send their daughter away to a tower with a dragon. You did? When you married me? Well, there's some fine print for you. Oh. You guys are escalating this way too fast. We'll take care of everything. <laughs> They're going to make a mess of their home, but oh well. They're cool. <laughs> Immediately they start partying. They don't even wait till they go off. <laughs> That's about the saddest face I've seen peeking out of the back of a just married vehicle. Oh my gosh, imagine being on a road trip with Donkey. Far away, Donkey. That's where we're going. Far. The hint is in the name. <sighs> <laughs> Try to go to sleep, take a nap. You didn't bring a fairy tale book? Nope, don't do that. That's a so annoying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just look at Shrek's face. <laughs> Five minutes. Could you not be yourself for five minutes? <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny seeing them both annoyed. Oh, it's nice and sunny. Oh, this is like Hollywood. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like an ice kingdom. That's going to be like Shrek in the Hollywood scene. That's hilarious. Welcome to Disneyland. It's gonna be like a country boy getting used to the big city. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like this movie is just taking the modernized references and jokes to another level, and I feel like it's hilarious. I've got, I'm sure that I'm missing details of the background, so if there's any little fun references or jokes that I missed throughout this reaction first time, feel free to point them out to me. Are the parents going to be cool towards Shrek or are they going to be really rude? I actually, I'm going to say they're actually really cool. Maybe they're like these LA hippies, really welcoming, just down for whatever. And this looks like a warm welcome. Look at this. I wonder how many years it's been since Fiona was lost. Oh, she looks happy to be back. But I wonder how long it's been since she's actually seen them. It's Fiona and her new husband. Hopefully the crowd doesn't react with screams when they step out. Oh shoot! No! Oh, the bird! It's so awkward! <laughs> you still think this was a good idea? Mom and Dad look happy to see us. Who on earth are they? <laughs> Little, that's a really big problem. 
<laughs> They're my parents. Hello, they locked you in a tower. That's a good point. Now here's our chance. Let's go back inside and pretend we're not home. <laughs> Can you imagine if they did that? Shrek, stop it. Everything's gonna be- A disaster. This is what everyone fears is gonna be like meeting their in-laws. I'd like you to meet my husband, Shrek. He's a good ogre. It's easy to see where Fiona gets her good looks from. <laughs> uh, this is just going to be so hard on Shrek. Oh, great. An awkward dinner. What do you talk about? He's so angry. Oh. This is like when you go to a super, super fancy restaurant and don't know what to do. It's like you need an instruction manual for like which utensils to use with what dishes. <laughs> oh, shoot. Better out than in, I always say, eh, Fiona? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Drinking the hand washing water. Cute little duckies and what? <laughs> I know you ain't talking about the swamp. Oh my gosh, donkey, shut up. You're making this worse. Oh no. Fine place to raise the children. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> They're both choking. Don't spit it out at him. Dad, it's great, okay? Well, for his. Yes. My oh my gosh. Yeah, Shrek and the father-in-law are going to have some serious issues. Yes. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Right, Harold? The mob is at least trying. That is assuming you don't eat your own gun. Dad. <laughs> You've been locked away in a tower. Shrek. Please. I only did that because I love her. This is both aggressive and passive aggressive. <sighs> this is like a food eating argument. Does this classify as a food fight? I feel like it does. Fiona. Fiona. Mom. Harold. Donkey. He just says his own name. <laughs> Look what you guys did. You have to at least make an effort. And this movie has been really funny so far, but it's bringing some, uh, I feel like some deeper themes here, here in the sequel. More so, I feel like, even than the first one. What the heck are all these bubbles? Oh, my dear. Oh, look at you. <laughs> You're all, um, uh, grown up. Who is this? Oh, this is Sweet Pea. I'm your fairy godmother. Ah! A wave of my magic wand. Your troubles will soon be gone. I feel like this could be... There might be a catch to this. Ton of cash. A high price dress made by mice. This seems too good to be true. What's... You said a new fashion trend. Woo! I mean, this sounds amazing. Don't get me wrong. Forward a carriage to ride in style. <laughs> Look at that carriage, man. It's like too much all at once. Look. <laughs> Slow down. I really don't need all this. <laughs> They're so offended. <laughs> They're all like talking trash as they walk away. All the inanimate objects. Happiness. It's just a teardrop away. Thanks. That's honestly a great, great line to put on your card. So I see. <laughs> Let's go, Carl. <laughs> Honestly, I love the fairy godmother. Do you want me to pat for you? You're unbelievable. <laughs> I am an ogre. <laughs> Don't scare the puppy. Aw. It's real smooth, Shrek. I'm an ogre. Arr! Yeah, you got to work on that temper of yours, man. Come on, you know you love her. Just go apologize. 
I do like the portrayal, though, of the stress and arguments in a relationship. And how like a difficult situation like seeing the in-laws and being away from home or on vacation can lead to fights. Like it's portrayed really well. Fiona does. And she'll never forgive you if you don't. That's true. Some words of wisdom. It's not the same. Calm down. Fine, fine. Pretend there's nothing wrong. la dee da dee da dee da <laughs> I can get any worse. Hello, Harold. Ah! What happened? Just the older oh, wound playing up a bit. Oh, is he going to team up with the fairy godmother and cause some problems? He is. We need to talk. Actually, fairy godmother, just off to bed. Is she the villain? Make this a quick visit. What? What? Oh. <laughs> She's going to be the new villain, isn't she? You remember my son, Prince Charming. Charming! Oh, oh this. Oh, now I'm getting what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Mummy can handle this. He endures bliss. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to do. <gasps> Where are we? They're not gonna kill him, are they? When a fresh fat boy, may I take your order? A diet is brewing. <laughs> <laughs> Renaissance wraps, no mayo, chili rings. I'll have the medieval meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> 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 No, really, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, that is just too funny. Charming will be together. You're spilling all over in your car, in your carriage. I, I mean, what an awesome idea to have the fairy godmother be the villain. That's a cool subversion. And I like how it's played, how she can kind of offer all the tantalizing you know, surface level pleasures and wealth, but she's seen as the evil one and her being Prince Charming's mom is just perfect. No way, is it the cat character? He's gonna be like the assassin? Just tell me where I can find this ogre. Pretty sure it's the cat character because I know he has a sword like that and it looked in the shadow, like that's a, a low to the ground. That's gotta be the cat character. So that's going to be like the hitman villain all with the fairy godmother like pulling the strings. I mean, like Shrek obviously is making a lot of mistakes, but he is also in a situation that is so foreign to him and so uncomfortable to everything, you know, he's used to and enjoys. And the fact that, you know, I mean, look at this, like he is so unwelcome here. Oh, don't go reading through her stuff. Is there going to be a diary or something where she hates ogres? <laughs> don't read her diary. That's just a bad idea. He's going to, though. All live happily ever after. You're going to get caught. Mrs. Fiona Charming. Mrs. Fiona Charming. Come on, you can't take this personally. Mrs. Fiona <laughs> she Mrs. wrote it so many times. The world to Fiona. It's gonna have you assassinated. I know. I know. I'm sorry, all right. Is that Shrek apologizing to Donkey? That's some character growth. Look, a little cut. Look out, Shrek! You got a bit! Watch out, he's gonna be deadly. Come here, little kitty kitty kitty. Uh-uh, he's gonna be dangerous as heck. <laughs> Donkey, why would she do that? <laughs> Pray for mercy from. Puss. It would. <laughs> been better off if I were some sort of prince charming. Gee, that's what the king said. But come on. Well, it's not like I wouldn't change if I could. Oh, come on. Fiona loves you. She just wants you to try. Hold the phone. Happiness. Oh, no. 
Well, first it was the time that old farmer tried to sell me for some magic beans. I ain't never got over that. Then this fool went off and had a party. He's not going to cry, though. He's just going to complain. It's a licking sucker. Well, that worked. Is it on? Is it on? <laughs> She's on a Zoom call. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> That's the most adorable cat character ever. Oh, why'd you leave the diary like that? Uh... Dad, have you seen Shrek? Uh, no, I haven't yet. I, I... Feeling a little guilty since I tried to kill your husband, have him assassinated. Darling, I'm just thinking about what's best for you. See? You should do the same. I hope she doesn't start. I hope the, his words don't sink in and make her start second guessing herself. Then why don't we pop in there for a spell? <laughs> spell. <laughs> we get it, Shrek. <laughs> I'm with Donkey on that one. <laughs> they don't even have dental. They don't even have dental. <laughs> what in Grim's name are you doing here? <laughs> what in Grim's name? Well, let's explore that, shall we? Well, he's gonna walk right into her trap. It's happily ever after. Oh, <laughs> no ogres. <laughs> oh, no ogres. Sleeping beauty. Oh, no ogres. <laughs> oh, this is brutal. The golden bird, the little mermaid, pretty woman. No. Pretty woman. <laughs> All right, look, lady. Don't you point those dirty green sausages at me. Okay, let's go, people. Let's, you're not gonna have this undercover. It's so ridiculous. Hey, Mac. I love how all the corporate employees are so just, they don't even notice or care. Donkeys are revered as the wisest of all creatures. Okay, can you turn around, Donkey, and do your job? Oh my gosh, you've just got them caught. <laughs> oh, you got the hat. <laughs> smooth, puss, smooth. bring me something deep fried and smothered in chocolate <laughs> i love how she stress eats like that smite him where he stands something he tells me he's them. all flash but he's a bad fighter i do believe we can make this work to our advantage great i knew the potion wasn't gonna be good my donkey senses are tingling all over so why don't you just drop that jug of voodoo and let's get out of here exactly words of wisdom from donkey now give me that bottle <laughs> What, what, donkey? Careful! Don't drink that much. Maybe it doesn't work on donkeys. No, there's something else. There's a catch. But I love Fiona more. No, this is the ad. Something's happening. Okay, well that had some effect. But if that turned that into a flower, I wonder if that means kind of like Midas's golden touch. Like maybe if he touches Fiona, it'll transform her. I don't know. Him. And then we're going to go back to the swamp where we belong. See, she loves him. That's why Shrek should have just talked to her. If any lesson comes from this movie, it's about communication. Oh. Fiona. Fiona. Oh shoot, it's affecting her too. Okay, what is this potion gonna do? Are they gonna wake up transformed? I feel like it's gonna be different than just a physical transformation. So it's gonna be more complicated. What is that? The movie's really building up the suspense for what this potion does. I mean, is there any chance it was like a trap potion that's labeled happily ever after, but it does something different? I mean, I don't trust any product made by the fairy godmother, honestly. I don't think she uses natural materials. Pail of water. Oh, thanks. What? He is human. Oh. Wavy locks. Taut round. 
Are you calling donkey? Holy. By midnight. Midnight? Why is it always? <laughs> Good question. I'll be your true love. I'll be true. I feel like everyone, this is making him popular or something too. Not bad at all. <laughs> they both just start laughing in his face. Someday I will repay you. Unless, of course, I can't find you or if I forget. <laughs> That's better than the Lannisters always pay their debts. I mean, you gotta imagine, not only does it feel, you know, the the appeal of being popular and good looking, but then for Shrek in particular, who's experienced the opposite his whole life, to just suddenly feel everyone's love and attention, that's gotta be extra powerful. It's not so sweet. Ch -ch 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hello, handsome. Fiona! Oh no. What's her whole plan here? Fiona. <laughs> oh, look at him with that pose. Changed a lot of things, Fiona. There's no way his personality resembles Shrek at all. Charming? Uh, do you think so? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Come on, the dad has to tell her. That's actually a pretty clever uh, evil plan from the fairy godmother. I didn't expect that. Just wanted her to be happy. And now she can be. Oh, you know. Hey, what's going on? Where are you going? I mean, Shrek has to be wondering, like, what Fiona thinks. He needs to make things right. That's what he needs to do to make up for being involved. I never should have rescued her from that tower in the first place. Oh, come on. I'm afraid Fiona isn't really warming up. He's gonna try to backtrack. Not my fault. Oh, no, no, of course it's not, dear. I mean... I love how he's so spoiled. What did you say? I, I, I can't. I, I won't do it. Oh, yeah. Don't say that. Don't say it to her face. If you remember, I helped you with your happily ever after. And I can take it away just as easily. Mary, a talking whore. Oh, shoot. Wait, so, but she said to the dad that she'll take back his happy ever after, which means he did the spell himself, which means his whole marriage is based off a lie, right? Am I following that correctly? That's crazy, man. Like, that's such a level of, a deep level of dishonesty. And Prince Shrek, and oh my, the outfits look gorgeous. Adorable. Whoa! <laughs> He's just... Oh, far, far away. <laughs> of course you would love this type of an event. We got a white bronco heading east into the forest. We're quite... <laughs> Steel to teach these mad cat mammals <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Catnip. That's uh, no mind. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Got him with catnip. I'm her husband. Shrek. Ow, ow. Nice. Ow, ow. Oh come on! They gotta they gotta go in with the rescue with the magic creatures. Let's go! It's rescue time. Man, you he has played such a critical role in the downfall of everyone. I can't believe he's doing this. And it just shows what a weak character can do, you know, how they can be used by an evil character. Uh, otherwise, I'm up all night. Wait, which one has the magic in it? Thanks. That one, right? I can't believe he's doing it. For a second, I thought maybe he was having a change of heart and was taking that one away. I must hold on before I, too, go totally mad. Shrek? Donkey? Too late. <laughs> Pinocchio! Get oh, Pinocchio, tell some lies here. Nose grows. Oh, we're gonna do Mission Impossible? <laughs> Have 
Having I mean, a puppet is just too funny. Puss. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to let me go? <laughs> yeah, don't eat the three blind mice. What? I like the detail of how they have his legs attached because he lost it in the first one. That's great. I just noticed that. Flower. Lots and lots of flower. Is that a Matrix reference? <laughs> what the heck is it? Holy... <laughs> they gotta go up with him some magic, though. Please tell me someone fights hand-to-hand -hand with Prince Charming and... Playing the pot, Fiona. Is that glitter on your lips? <laughs> of course it is. With you. But muffin cake. <laughs> He's just throwing, like, pouting to his mom. Oh, so this the song is in the second one. Okay. Hey, big fella, let's crash this part. What a great song to have, like the action sequence at the end. Can they face fire, gingerbread cookie? Careful, don't overheat. This guy is just unbelievable. Oh shoot, they've got milk. Oh no, they're steaming the milk. <laughs> oh, more steam milk. Look out. Oh no! Oh, he barely got in. But he's by himself now and he's not an ogre so he can't fight as well, right? Oh no! She's falling for it! Okay, he's still got some insane moves here. Come on! Alright, we got the whole gang in. Nice! <laughs> That's a great jump. Oh, he's got him. Go, go! Your lady needs you. Go! <laughs> Today, I repay my debt. Oh! <laughs> Get her wand! Oh, you missed! No! Oh, nice. There you go. Destroy it. Break it. She's taking the potion. Kiss her now. No. No. Wait, did the dad switch it? Did he drink? I guess I gave her the wrong tea. Don't live happily ever after! Oh, he's, in a, he's a frog. Shrek, Fiona, will you accept an old frog's apologies? To be this way forever. What? Because if you kiss me now, we can stay like this. Do that? For me? Yes. She's not going to, of course, but the fact that he was willing to. To live happily ever after. With the ogre I married. Happens. I must not cry. Oh, no. no, it's okay, donkey. She's in superstition. <laughs> I feel a premonition. That girl. Oh, Pinocchio! <laughs> Alright, so that is Shrek 2. Man, that movie was just a blast from start to finish. Oh, I... Talk about a great sequel. I mean, uh, as fun as the first one was, to me, the second one 
was better in every way. And I, I really didn't expect that going in. I just, you know, I was just kind of hoping for another fun uh, uh, movie like the first one with lots of jokes, lots of silliness. And this movie did, but I really think that quality-wise, everything was sharpened up, everything was developed further, and I really think the emotional beats of this film worked better than the first one and that's not a uh you know talking against the first one that's a compliment to this movie i just feel like the themes and ideas of the first one kind of of being accepted and your your true self versus you know the way society looks at you i don't know i feel like there are a lot of kind of themes that were touched on briefly in the first one that this film really did a fun development on, but also like dive deeper into it at the same time. I mean, but, and then technically I just feel like things were really sharpened up. I mean, just to begin with the animation quality, and I'm sure this had to do with the success of the first one. I'm sure that a lot more money was sent into this once people realized that this was a franchise that people would pay money to see, but everything looked significantly better in this film to me, animation wise. Just the movements of the characters seem much more fluid. I feel like there's a lot more uh, brightness and freshness in the color. And even in some of the directing choices, I feel like um, that the movements, I know it's not a real camera, but the camera, t you know, like movement within the animation was uh, really cool. And I feel like better directed than in the first movie and really added a real energy and kind of personality to plenty of the scenes. Um, but uh, the, I, at the beginning of the of the review, obviously, I was talking about hoping for a new antagonist, and man, did this movie really deliver with that. It was very different than Lord Farquaad, and I actually feel like, unlike Lord Farquaad, this was, um, you know, the fairy godmother was much more sinister, and actually was more of a serious character, and I really, really liked it. They, they did a really awesome job. Just conceptually the idea of making the fairy godmother as a, a character that we see as such a loving benign friendly safe character turning her into a, a a wicked character who has these surface level appeals and kind of this easy life and cheap fixes and glamour i think is just a clever idea in and of itself and then the execution the way that they did this the voice acting her song numbers her animation style the different outfits they had the way that you could see how she played to the audience and the cameras just every little you know the little personality ticks and her costume everything really came together as a very interesting entertaining and also threatening villain which was so great and then of course her son prince charming kind of as a secondary opponent was awesome as well i mean he was really really funny i mean s some similar humor to lord farquaad that we got in the first one but i actually i actually think i was laughing even even harder at him than i was at that character in the first one um i really liked the the development of the relationship between donkey and shrek and then the introduction to the awesome, awesome new character, uh, Puss in Boots. I mean, he was hilarious and awesome. Uh, all three of them and their dynamic. I feel like um, there was still that tension that Shrek and Donkey had in the first one. But I feel like there was, um, uh, there, there were definitely some moments in the movie where you could see Shrek treating Donkey better and how... Yes, they get on each other's nerves, but you can see the real friendship that they had with each other. And then I also like, of course, the the struggle that Donkey had to deal with, with the new friend in the group and a little jealousies there. I thought that was a nice little kind of small arc and conflict to give to his character. Um, just, just the setting of having it be about meeting the in-laws and about dealing with how that, you know, struggling to fit in and kind of go past the honeymoon phase of happiness and develop into something more real and mature as far as Shrek and Fiona. I, I feel like that was just such a great thing to do in the sequel. And yeah, it was, it was just, it was really good to watch and kind of added a lot of emotional depth. I, I just felt so much more invested in the story and in the characters. And yes, like this movie, like the first one, had a lot of jokes, a lot of self-referential humor, a lot of references. Not only do I think that the jokes were better in this one, there were more of them. I feel like I was laughing harder. They were smarter. Um, 
also like they they had those emotional beats and they were very well done and well developed and then the character who i think was really really interesting was um the father who obviously was kind of to me at the root of a lot of the problems of the entire plot i mean and and i feel like that actually makes sense if you think of fiona's backstory the fact that her parents you know put her away in a tower to be rescued by a prince seeing how this movie played out and how the events of this storyline happened i am absolutely confident that the father was behind that decision it seems like something totally in his character to do to his daughter and you just see like the weakness and the selfishness of his character come out and, and i like how he shields his behavior as love for his daughter as caring for his daughter and it's not black and white he he clearly you know does on some level care about her but He's more caught up in his own idea of how things should play out. And then, of course, the, the fairy godmother, you know, plays on his weaknesses. Now, one part I'm not sure, um, so please correct me if I'm wrong. I believe when he was speaking to the fairy godmother, he she said, she threatened to, like, take away his happy ever after, which I think was implying that he took the potion himself. And to me, that could be a whole a whole other thing like if he did that and that's his backstory for how he got married to his wife that's pretty dark actually and that may, maybe i misheard that that might have not been the exact thing but if that is that's pretty that's some pretty heavy stuff and just kind of goes to show some some serious consequences finally catching up to him for some of those um those poor moral choices early on in his life and then of course i do like how he did have kind of a moment of redemption towards the end where i'm not saying it like makes up for everything that he did but in the end like when it became so apparent it, a lot of damage had been done already but when it became clearly apparent to him that his daughter was unhappy and that his choices were selfish he did you know choose not to give her the love potion so that just that also is kind of a, an extra layer to his character and showing um it was just really interesting I, i'm very intrigued but please let me know uh what you guys thought you know to please let me know in the comments i'm really curious do, do you prefer the second one to the first one do you love both of them do you like the first one first i feel like there's definitely different takes on what you could like please let me know in the comments and then on top of that i feel like that just so many good characters what is your favorite character out of these first two movies let's just keep it to that because i'm not sure if there's more characters in the third one that maybe i haven't met yet but out of the first two shrek movies who is your favorite character and why i would love to know and hear your thoughts in the comments but as always um thank you to everyone for watching liking and subscribing your support is really appreciated if you do want to see this full reaction it's up on patreon if you want to see my reaction to shrek the third that's up for early access and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero.